We stuck together and we found a way. Give it up for yourself. But hey, great job. I'll tell you what, it's going to make the, the bye week a hell of a lot more enjoyable. No doubt about it. Great job. Way to be resilient. Way to stick together. This, this win is fun. Let's keep this thing going. Do we have time, boss? Stick together. Bam on three. One, two, three. Bam. Hello and welcome to Total Packers with Matt LaFleur, Larry McCarron, along with the head coach of the Green Bay Packers. And Matt, you are now the head coach of the winningest franchise in NFL history. Is that kind of exciting? Maybe a little sobering? How do you feel about it? No, it's a, it's a really cool uh, deal to be part of, first of all, such a great franchise and then to be the all-time winningest. That's just icing on the cake, but certainly, we live kind of in the moment, and I know we're not where we want to be, and uh, we've got for sure four more games left in front of us, and we just got to make sure that we take it game by game, and, and hopefully we can get on the other side of this thing and finish out the season really strong. Of course, any win over the Chicago Bears is good, but winning this one the way you won it, was it special? I think so, just to show the resiliency that we always talk about, to be down 13 points, to be down nine points in the fourth quarter, and our guys continue to battle and you know, find a way in, at the end of the game to pull it out. When you win the fourth quarter 18-0, and all three phases made big plays to contribute, that's got to say a lot about your football team. Yeah, I'd say it's complimentary football at its finest. Got the big block by Dean Lowry on, on uh, our field goal block unit. Jair with the big interception, Keyshawn Nixon with the interception, and our offense being able to take those um, turnovers and turn them into points. It kind of gets lost in the wash of that fourth quarter, but how big was that 13-play, 75-yard touchdown drive right before the half? Oh, I think it was huge and converting on a fourth down and uh, I would say we didn't get the ideal coverage for the play but our guys made it work. We had great protection up front. Christian broke his rod off when he when he felt the play kind of go off schedule and Aaron made a heck of a throw. Going for it on that particular fourth down, I would assume that wasn't about analytics, that was about gut instincts, right? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, Aaron was looking over to the sideline like what are we going to do and we kind of just looked at each other and it was one of those deals where we felt confident in the play call but um, like I like I said didn't necessarily present the look we thought we were going to get but our guys made it work and uh, sometimes you need some of that some of those unscripted type plays. Offense seems to be heading in the right direction and I think a lot of folks are saying it's Christian Watson is it all Christian Watson? Not all, but certainly plays a big part of it. His speed is something that it, it's just hard to plan for as a defense. You know, he has definitely been able to help open up our offense, and it really, quite honestly, helps everybody become a little bit more open, in whether it's in the pass game or the run game. 175 yards rushing, no sacks allowed. Pretty good day for the offensive line. Yeah, I'd say so. I thought, you know, going into the game, winning the line of scrimmage is always one of the keys to victory, and our guys did that up front. Run-pass ratio was about 50-50. Is that the way you'd prefer to play? I would say in a perfect world, yes, and, and but it's totally game by game, and we did what we thought we had to do from an offensive standpoint to continue to move the chains and score enough points. And you'd like to stay balanced, but ultimately it's about finding ways to score and win games. Three takeaways, and you had just 12 for the season coming in. Those three takeaways, major step in the right direction. Oh yeah, anytime you can win the ball three to zero, you, you got a great opportunity to win in the football game. Obviously, the, the big turnover forced by Rasul Douglas, and then we talked about the two interceptions by Keyshawn and Jair, all, all great plays by those guys. Giving up explosive plays, that still seems to be a wit issue. That's something that we're gonna work hard to get corrected. Um, explosion plays typically lead to points, and so 
We've got to make sure that we've got everybody locked in, dialed in each and every play so we can mitigate those opportunities for the offense. Thank you, Matt. Coming up, Mean Dean Lowry, don't go away. It was a big play. Uh, I actually told TJ on Wednesday that we're going to block one this week. It's a big moment in the game, uh, fourth quarter. I think our defense needed to play, so credit to our D-line to get that push and, and make the play. Total Packers with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by your local Chevy dealers by Bell and & Health, and by Johnsonville. Welcome back. This one-on-one -on -one is brought to you by Quick Trip and Guaranteed Fuel. Partially blocked, and the Bears are turned away empty. Oh, what a play. Dean Lowry got a piece of that. Dean. The block field goal in the fourth quarter, huge play. Tell me about it. It was a big play. Uh, I actually told TJ on Wednesday that we're going to block one this week, and uh, we saw some opportunities with Coach Rich Bisaccia this week on film, and uh, it was a big moment in the game, uh, fourth quarter. I think our defense needed to play, so credit to our D-line to get that push and, and make the play. You know, I'm a Chicago area kid uh, growing up in Rockford, so anytime I make a play against the Bears uh, in Soldier Field, it's pretty exciting. During your career, you have shown a knack for batting down passes. You got like 16 over your career. Yeah. Does that translate into blocking kicks at all? Are some of the same techniques or feel involved? I think now it does, yeah, obviously. So uh, being a taller guy playing the inside, I think I have that advantage to do some, some extra length and height in there. And um, I have had a knack for doing that since college, of uh, tipping passes and those PBUs. So that was, that was my first blocked field goal in the NFL, so it came at a good time. You guys won that game in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. What happened? What changed? Uh, at halftime, we said don't panic. Um, they had two big plays in the first half, and we had guys in position at both times to make plays. So we said, hey, let's, let's go out there and execute. Let's tackle well. Um, we're playing good, solid football, and let's keep battling. In addition to the plays we've talked about, you also made a couple plays on the perimeter. Like they tried to run a gadget with EQ throwing the ball, and you stopped him on the outside after a gain of just one. And then, Later on in the second half, David Montgomery, you stopped him or participate in the stop on him for a loss of five. What's it say, or do you take a lot of pride in going beyond the call of duty? Because you're an interior player, nobody's really expecting you to make plays on the sideline, but right. you did. Uh, for sure. Uh, that's one thing that Coach Barry preaches is swarming to the football having all 11 guys pursue to the ball. And um, if one guy missed the tackle, we'll have the next 10 guys there to, to wrap them up and, and finish the play. So that was, I think, really consistent across the board was our pursuit to the football. Dean, can you talk to me about the defensive journey you guys have taken this season, where it's at and where it's going? Yeah, I mean, overall, um, through 13 games, it's been below our standard, just, um, you know, um, speaking candidly, but um, we're going to keep battling. You know, we've had some injuries of guys go down and some moving parts, but um, we believe in the guys in our locker room, our leaders, and we're going to keep going and see where it goes. One week at a time, and looking at each game, it's a big stage. You know, obviously, our first game back now will be against the Rams on Monday night, and, you know, Coach LaFleur has talked about putting our record aside, putting all the extra stuff aside, and just focusing on just being 1-0 each week and having fun with it and playing for our teammates. Hi, I'm AJ Dillon, and for My Cause, My Cleats, I'm supporting Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. I chose Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin because uh, it came to my attention what the disparity was between uh, kids having a meal and not having a meal in the summertime. It's one in five kids in Wisconsin didn't know where their next meal was going to come from. We were able to raise 750,000 meals for kids in Wisconsin over the course of the season so far during the Healthy Kids Healthy Summer campaign. I think the whole My Cause, My Cleats campaign uh, just does a great job of 
you know, shedding light and awareness on so many great causes out there, having the platform to be able to showcase some of the good things going on in the world and provide help is awesome. And, you know, it's really great to do it in a fun way where you can have some fun with it and really get people's attention. This week's Chalk Talk is brought to you by Network Health. At Network Health, we do what's right, even when it's not easy. It's who we are. Health insurance is what we do. Christian Watson, four games, 17 touches, and eight touchdowns. Touchdown number eight starts innocently enough. Bobby Tunyon goes in motion, and a bear linebacker goes with him, confirming the man coverage the Packers want to see. Then it's Christian Watson. He'll go in motion, and he'll be followed by a Bears cornerback. Watson takes the handoff, and the jet sweep is underway. Meanwhile, the Packers are faking a run concept they use quite a bit, a concept where Alan Lazard pins the edge, and they pull blockers around that. While that is going on, Aaron Rodgers is carrying out his fake. A.J. Dillon is carrying out his fake. And trust me on this, folks, 10 Chicago Bears are buying the fake running play. Only one is not. And he's the guy that traveled with Watson. But the Packers have a blocker for him. It's like they planned it because they did. The block is made and Watson is out the gate and gone. Same play, different angle, and if you can, don't watch the ball, watch the Bears defense. They're all heading to the right while the ball is heading left. Just one bear to block really, and Sammy Watkins is gonna block him. And you know, Sammy didn't have a catch, but he had two touchdown blocks. Says a lot about Sammy. Great scheme, plus great execution, plus Christian Watson equals eight touchdowns in four games. It's exciting uh, to you know be able to play such a such a you know role in our offense. Just excited to be out there and be contributing. 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! It's a rapid, wild development that it's hard to think about another player who goes from uh, being kind of a um, here and there, minimal production to go-to type player, home run player, pretty special. The rookie delivers the dagger. Speed kills again. Total Packers with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by Network Health. By your Wisconsin Toyota dealers, and by Spectrum One. I'm John Runyon, and for my calls, my cleats, I'm supporting the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, Green Bay. I got the cleats, I love them, I love the color blue. They uh, really stand out, that's St. Vincent de Paul's, you know, their main color. I, I think they look really clean and fresh. I chose St. Vincent de Paul because I met uh, Green Bay District Council President Chris McCarthy. Talking to her, I just really understood the need that is out here in Green Bay for helping and supporting the homeless, not just with the place to live, but you know the ability to help pay and cover utilities and just make sure that they're in a better place. And especially coming on the winter time here in Green Bay, it's really cold. Just making sure that everybody has food and shelter. I've been with them on home visits where they go and assess living situations and the family's having trouble paying rent. They're able to help them out right there, covering utilities, anything that they need. They're making a big difference here in, just in Green Bay and I'm really happy that I'm able to help with them too. My Calls My Cleats is huge. Just using the NFL's platform and our own platform with their teams, getting out the, these charities, and especially St. Vincent de Paul and other charities, the guy supporting around the league is really big. Total Packers with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by Fabic Cat, proud sponsor of the Green Bay Packers.
Welcome back. Time to hand out some game balls. And Matt, on offense, you went with Christian Watson and A.J. Dillon. And I have to confess, no surprise there. Yeah, both of those guys did an outstanding job, had major contributions to our success. Uh, it was great to see A.J. play more of a role when Aaron Jones got dinged up a little bit. And you could feel his power running behind his pads, finishing forward, and just had a great game. On defense, you went with Kenny Clark and Rasul Douglas. What did you like about their respective efforts? Well, I think Kenny up front got back to some dominant play, and he was playing very physical. He was chasing the ball down, um, had some big time tackles. And then Rasul, the forced fumble was, was critical, but it was more his consistent play throughout the course of the game. And on special teams or we fence, you went with Dean Lowry and Eric Wilson. Yeah, Dean for the blocked field goal, obviously a big time play in the game. And then Eric Wilson, just his physicality on special teams, um, and he had two tackles, so he was a major contributor. Thank you, Matt. Coming up, the last word from the coach. Don't go away. I'm Alan Lazard, and I'm supporting the Headstrong Foundation for my cause, my cleats. Based off of the design last year, to see the upgrade this year with the new colors and everything, my initial impression of my cleats were pretty amazing. My grandpa passed away from cancer. My agent's two children in high school both had to deal with cancer and were able to overcome it. And so I've always had a, a deep connection to those who have had to suffer with cancer as well. The reason why I chose this foundation is to help those with cancer live a better quality of life. The My Cause, My Cleats initiative is so important because it not only brings awareness to my foundation being headstrong, but also brings a lot of recognition to all the other foundations out there, creating great awareness and also raising a great deal of money. As an NFL player, to be able to use our platform to bring awareness and to help raise money to help others is a great deal. The Last Word with Matt LaFleur is brought to you by Construction Business Group and Wisconsin Operating Engineers. Welcome back. Time for the last word from the coach and Matt. It's week 14, heading into the bye, still in the hunt. What now football-wise? Well, I think we, it gives us an opportunity to take a look at everything we've put on tape, maybe expand on some things, maybe tailor back some other things, and ultimately try to find the, what has been successful for us and try to put our players in those positions so that we can go out there and have a great game plan, first the Rams and then every game after that. I'm sure you're going to miss me personally. You want me to stop by or anything? Yeah, you can come down. You can come on vacation with me, Larry. Love it. <laughs> thank you, Matt. Have a good bye, and thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.